our Tech Tuesday tutorials. This week we're going to go into a couple of features for Google Drive, specifically the Explore function and some changes in the way that they can allow you to cite websites and also how to control layout inside Google Slides with images and text. Okay, so if anyone remembers the old research tab inside Google Docs, you'll know that one of the best features of it was the citation mode. While it is still gone, we do have something kind of similar that, that comes back, but it only works for websites. So if you go to Tools and Explore, and let's say you're doing a, a, some research here, and you're writing a paper, and you want to look up some information, uh, you can do your web searches right here. Uh, so let's say Flip Classroom. And this will return web results and images and drive results as well, and so on. And so let's say you find an article that you that you kind of like and you want to use this and you want to cite this in your in your paper. Well, you can go back to your document and uh, you can just cite it as a footnote using this little icon that appears in the top right corner. You can also choose how you want to cite those, what format, if you use the three dots by the web results. So you can do MLA, APA, and Chicago. So then I'll come in here and click on this. It'll put a footnote, which that footnote can go anywhere in my document. I can move it around. But at the bottom, you'll see that it's there in the proper format. Now this does not cite periodicals, it's just web results really, but it's better than nothing right now. If you want to cite periodicals, um, you can use a citation add-on from the add-ons menu. Just go to the store and do a search for citations. Now the next thing I wanted to show you was the Explore function's ability to kind of control layout inside Google Slides. So when you go and you just choose Tools and Explore, it'll suggest any layouts for any pages you currently have, but if you don't have any images in there, you don't really have that many options. So let's search for some images here. We're going to find something here about a barking dog or something like that. Okay, so we searched here, we found a couple of images. And let's say I want to use this one. I just drag and drop it onto my slides. And then if I hit back and go back to the original Explore, uh, window where I just collapse this and load it again just goes to the tools and explore I'll see that it provides various layouts that I can choose from to kind of help um, make this slide look a little bit more dynamic right so I might choose this one and I can even make some changes to this if I'd like I can come in and uh, change how it cropped it drag it down a little bit or whatever else uh, so it still fits on the slide and so on now what's neat about this is that you can really kind of play around with these layouts and um, you know explore various options with just a few clicks without having to know, really know how to move and crop and organize this kind of stuff. So try it out sometimes. Um, it works best with one or two images um, rather than uh, three or four on the slide. Um, and of course you can go in there and change things afterwards so if the font isn't large enough, uh, once it makes its changes you can then play around with it yourself. All right, thank you very much, guys.